Yo guys, so welcome to North Station. Sit back, relax and enjoy as we play some more Persona 5 Royal. Honestly guys, 70 hours in this video game right now and I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. But you know what, I'm still loving it. I don't talk much in my video, I do understand that and I know I need to communicate with the community a bit more but it's really hard when you got little ones and they're growing up really fast. I'd rather give my kids some time more than I would put time in my video games. Today's my day off from work and I'm feeling it, I'm feeling buzz. I want to dive deeper, deeper and deeper into this video game. Well, deeper and deeper into Persona 5 Royal. Find out what's happening with the characters, see what's going on. Everyone seems to make me laugh at times. And you know what guys, with no further ado, I think I'm talking too much. Let's play some Persona 5 Royal. Sorry. Thank you. 
Come on, man. I 
see. Let's go. See ya. Come again. What would you like?
Made a decision? What do you want to do? 
Thank you. See you later.
What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Excuse me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Hmm. Maybe I left it in here. Huh? How did you know she's always on handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. Uh. Sir. So, uh, pardon me. But there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamishida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. I just cannot understand.
you. This is it. <laughs> That's it. She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? <sighs> no connection. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Oh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Hmm? Atmosphere. Is this a palace? But we never activated the nav. Wait. Do you think it was Yoshizawa? It's a possibility. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her. Fast! Hmm. Oh. 
focus. She's out. Yoshizawa's in trouble! Heresy! You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy! <laughs> Are you alright, Yoshizawa? That voice... Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's earned it? I understand how you feel, but well. Third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worth one. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one is not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. <sighs> Filling my life with this pressure? Demanding the results that you want? Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <coughs> Rather than accepting their consenders, you strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well... If those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... Contract, the spell cast upon you. I 
request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sondrion! We'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do! Let's dance! Are you all right? I can't be weak anymore. Ah! Whoa, I'm quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? I knew it. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick. We can explain later. Right. Oh, we're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal, too. This was your location before you entered the Metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Yeah, you're right. Okay. I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse with palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but after seeing it all for myself... But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? It took you long enough. And I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana, Senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well... I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but... I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it. 
But it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honor status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. Then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. The nav? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right... Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? I knew it. Wait. That means when we were at the cafe with the Ketchisan, I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Ugh. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. You may be right. But I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear. One day, I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later.
I should write something. But think about a lot of things when I'm just waiting. Things like, did it go well? Thanks. Hearing that from you puts my mind at ease. <laughs> I guess I'll relax and look after the flower bed. I haven't been able to for a while. The Phantom Thieves are amazing. <laughs> Come on, 
let's get going. Sorry. Um... See you later.
appears everyone is here. for work. The start is important, so let's focus. Well then. Yeah. Yeah. Go! Crap! No 
Stop moving! You gotta aim! Come on, queen! Nice move, Spots! Skull's really mad! Hey, listen to me! Dakini! Alright! Let's go. Take this! What? The box, you gotta aim! Oh, come it. on, Queen! Queen's mad. And this one's strong. Be careful. That's <laughs> not a way you can win against me! Look at him, acting all smug because of his cheats. We can't do anything to him at this rate, though. Let's retreat for now and rethink our approach. What is the matter? It looks like. I understand. Oh? Did you change your mind? Let us be off. your mind ah you're back The one behind the mental shutdowns. Now that we're getting closer to the truth, we need to be ready for absolutely... 
absolutely anything. I should write something. Textbooks open to page...
What do you want? I don't care. Uh-huh. Hey! Any progress with the Phantom Thief? Calling card? Huh? There's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh, 
Is... is this for real? I mean, you could probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site! Which means... You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves! No way! How'd you do it? Oh, that's so cool! So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. No, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. The king's swearing up a storm today. That's what happens when he teams up with another player, and why everyone also watches him from a distance. All right, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves, too. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? I am thou. It shall become the wings of rebellion with the birth of the tower persona. today. I gotta go. See you later. Let's go. Wow. 
in your debt. Thank you. Could this be? I see. Hmm. Turn home. See you.
back. What do you want to do? Hey! Hey, hey! I'm okay! Sweat it and you'll regret! Okay. <laughs> Your turn now. to me. You've got this! Your turn now! and you'll regret it! Yes! Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Leave it 
to me. Turn now. Then my turn now. <laughs> Give it your all. Give it your all.
should do it for now. Goodbye. Let's go. What will you do?
Very impressive. Speaking of which...
Wow. Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. But I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Mm-hmm. You can lean on me, too, if you need it. Good. I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. I'm so glad I met you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou, thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the lovers, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Promise me that you'll stay by my side, okay? Good. I'm so glad. Thank you for enjoying our Ferris wheel experience. The gondola will arrive at the platform shortly. Huh? It's over already? We went all the way around, but I didn't see any scenery. All I saw was you. <laughs> Um, before we get off, sh should we at least do one thing, you know, that couples do? <laughs> I'll leave it to you. Should I close my eyes? The members seem to be doing well now. I do a phone consultation with them from time to time, and they're all very cheerful. That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. I've been particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate.
That's very true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to live in. She was the first person I read a fortune for, and she started avoiding me. I read the fortune of our fate. It was a terrible result. But I prayed that it would somehow work out. However, that never happened. That's when I started to believe that fate couldn't be changed. No surprise though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. Yeah, you're right. Oh, could this be? Conviction is amazing! Her feet and mine are connected! I will no longer be swayed by names like Monster or Maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits so that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. Now, it's your turn to speak. What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? Sorry, I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. I couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. you good, didn't I? But I don't care what your true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. So, it's fine. Only... the fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. in order to change fate, right? I'll be by your side. As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. <laughs> I am thou. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of... sequence the cards were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. You either have amazing charisma, or you're a trouble magnet. <laughs> the verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? Please, visit again sometime. Goodbye!
Hey. So Kumara finally had his chance. That has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. <laughs> hmm? If he's still asleep at this point, he's definitely going to be late for... Remembered. That's it. It's finally lunchtime. Hey, can I speak with you for a So about Dr. Maruki's counseling. You've already gone to see him, right? I see. That's good then. I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? 
counseling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! I've been doing quite well. Are you also about to eat lunch, Senpai? If it's all right with you, would you mind eating together? Ah, how nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? We were just discussing eating. Are you sure? Well, maybe I... Um, is that your lo- That doesn't- I have to eat this much to stay active. From my point of view, it's your two- If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. <laughs> and you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I'd worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Well, it's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things. Or, more like... A reason to stand up to my problems. Isn't that right, Senpai? Stand up to your problems, eh? 
You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Ah, oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. See you around. Hmm. who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destinyland? By Destinyland, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destinyland, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? It looks like it will work. You're really gonna have it at Destinyland? 
Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we cancel the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? Was delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with the view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. You say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. What was that? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This'll really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? Seriously? <laughs> 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 that party will be for me! Still... How do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes. I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. 
Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Kumaro-san? We just took the treasure, too. I should call home. This... this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the Shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? This is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um... I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... This is just a hypothesis, but perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them.
It should have been okay. It should have been. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? I should write something. 